Hi guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm here today with a very special video and a very special guest, my husband Samuel. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> I have to apologize for my nails right away though. Still in quarantine, and we were painting our room earlier. So anyway, so today I'm going to show you a finished flip through of this book. Sam actually had the idea to split color, and we'll show you what that means in a second. You might have seen it on some of my previous uh, monthly wrap-ups, but this is Jade Summer's Baby Dragons, and it actually has two of each, so this first half is actually all empty. But, are we centered, Sam? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, when quarantine started back in March, we were kind of thinking about things we could do in the house together, and Sam suggested taking a coloring book page, cutting it down the middle, and then he would do one half and I would do the other half. So it was a really good idea and we did that and we finished all 30 dragons in this book. So I figure we'll flip through it and we'll kind of talk about our thought process on the pages, things like that, if anything unique happened. Right? Do you have anything else to say? No. I'm wondering how they're going to hear you being so far away. But we'll find out when we watch this at the end. Okay, so again, we did the second half of the book. So the first 30 are still empty, but that's okay. Page one, this was not the first one we did. We didn't do them in order. We uh, either did a random number generator or we would randomly ask like different friends online for numbers or let my dad flip through and pick. But this is actually the cover image and I cheated on this one as I like to say and I just copied this half of the dragon. Now, can you see it real good in the thing? Yeah. Okay. I used CaliArt markers for my half and Sam used either color pencils or eventually Crayola markers. He obviously is not a colorist as his hobby so he did not really want to try the harder harder craft supplies so we just gave him the nice and easy stuff to use. So I copied the picture from the front. What did you do? I, well, first of all, I thought that was a road leading up to the castle. And instead of water. Instead of water. Um, thought it was a blue dragon. And then I put the Toronto Raptors logo as the flag. Hmm. Why not? Yeah. Dragons are like raptors. Yeah, so the thing about Sam is he's actually much more creative than I am. That's but, right. yeah, that's right. But... He just doesn't do crafts, so, like, I'm more refined, right? Of course. Of course. So, yeah, the, he did the Raptors logo. Okay, next page. Oh, I still have some tabs. So this, do we have, I don't know if we're going to have something to say about all of them. Part of what I really liked about doing this book is that since dragons are fantastical, like, they don't have to be a certain color. You can just do whatever you want. So we definitely did that. So I think this is one of the later ones, and we were just, or I know, I was just tired of doing a blue sky and brown trees and the same colors for everything. So I mixed it up a little bit. Anything to say? I just wanted to do red, green, blue. This one was one of our later ones. See, I feel bad because he's using my Crayolas, and as you can see, some of them were drying out a little bit on him. But it kind of gave him, like, texture with, I don't know if that's what he was intending. But, yeah. This one made me upset because that's supposed to be dark brown and that's dark green. But they all, or they both almost look just black. So it's kind of hard to see the difference. But, yeah. I love this one. This is actually the reason I bought this book. And I'm probably going to go back and do this page in the full page by myself eventually. But I just love this guy. He's so funny. So another thing that kept tripping Sam up on the Crayola is that the tip or the color doesn't always match the lid. So he'd get yeah. stuck doing very similar colors. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. I, we always, like, I would tape them together. I use washi tape to tape them together. And then we would kind of reveal it so we wouldn't see what the other person was doing as we were coloring. And it was always fun to see if we would match. So it's kind of funny. Like, those browns and those reds are pretty spot on. Yeah. But we did not match very often. I'll just take this out while we're here. This, was this the last page? Second to last, I think. I think this was the last one. I think this was our last page. 
And this is like my favorite color combo ever and I just wanna do that in all my pages now. So, <laughs> what, any decision discussions on this one? So, no, you're right, this was the last page. So I tried to use literally every Crayola marker I had mm -hmm. and uh, got through all but like five of them. So I think like 30, 40 markers. Yeah, it, he has the 50 pack, but I think like four of them dried out so much that we just threw them out. Yeah. So, yeah. And some of them you can tell, I hope, that I put glitter on. But it would just be because I would be so basic and be done before Sam. So I would just be like, oh, time to add glitter. Well, I drew in their eyes because I got black and couldn't figure out what else I could do with black. Hmm. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> it was also funny how often, like, I would get the butt end or he would get the butt end. We kind of kept track with that one. I love this guy. I don't know why. This is just one of my favorites. I really love the color yellow. And I feel like the more I get to use yellow, the happier I am. No. This one was the second to last one. Yeah. Yeah. Wanted to see how far I could go with just blue, and then I got stuck using a purple by accident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he went for all the same color. Uh, I did not. I don't know. <laughs> this one I really liked because we basically each got to do one. I kind of tried to make mine look like the truffle of trees from the Lorax. Yeah. And this was another one he used the color pencils instead. We really liked when he used the markers because they come out so much bolder, especially compared to my half, because if I was also using color pencils, it would flow better, but there's that one. I love this one too a lot. I just really love using Cali Art markers because it makes everything so bold. Oh, that one, yeah, that was a unique decision there. Yeah, I started creating an eye for him because it seemed like I had a big area of his eye with nothing in it. Yeah. And what was it? Also, one of Sam's signature moves might be skipping a little piece of each one. Yeah, you'll notice that. <laughs> this was the dragon. This is the dragon. They're all dragons. I don't know why I thought this one was more dragon than the rest of them. Yeah, this one you kind of admitted, though, to tapping out a little bit. Oh, yeah, definitely. You can see that. <laughs> Tapped out pretty hard. Yeah. This one, I intentionally didn't do gold coins because I didn't want to match. So I was being a little sassy. And I think, can you tell in the camera that I did like the silver? Yeah. You can uh, see it? Yeah. Yeah. Sam's standing while we do this, which is one, why he might sound really far away, but also why he can see the camera. I thought that arch in the background was leading somewhere. So I painted it as if sunlight was coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not, it's just a wall. I really do like the like tips of the horns and things. Oh look, he didn't do the tongue again. Maybe he just had a thing about the tongues. It's boring. Mm. Yep. I don't have much to say about this one. Got some good texture out of the markers. What? But why did you do the sky the same color? Oh, you said camouflage, right? Yeah. Kind of blend in so he can hunt his prey. Mm -hmm. She seems so jolly though. Yeah, she needs well. I really like my half of this one. I did uh, a lot of glitter. And I really love that he textured the sky like that. You did you add in your own little river? Mm, yes. <laughs> yes, I did. I think, no, it's supposed to be like a shadow. Hmm. It's like a weird glowing shadow thing. But you can think it's a river, that works too. Like a shadow of her tail? Yeah. Hmm. Why is it red? Who knows? Another one that we basically each got to do a little dragon. I just love ones like this. Yeah, I don't like these two purple markers. One of them's too dark and the other one doesn't work. Hmm. Oh, that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, this is, sorry, I kind of like got zoned in. This one, I think you did use the Cali Arts, right? Uh, it looks like they're much better. Yeah, I think we did let him try once, but then obviously this is exactly what mine looked like when I first tried them. Which Weirdly splotchy. Yeah, not knowing what I was doing. I mean, they still end up like that sometimes, but yeah, um, we stopped doing that because we 
We're more separated. This is another one of the later ones. I really love this one. This is the one I randomly asked my dad to pull out a marker and he pulled out this green and then I like based everything around that. I made Italian flags because it's really easy to make recognizable Italian flags. <laughs> well, yeah, they're down there too. Yeah. I love this one. I like how you like graffitied him. He's a rebel, but still loves books. Mm -hmm. Anything? He has a cold? I don't know. <laughs> um, if you look carefully, you'll see that the left side of mine is striped. Yeah, I didn't even notice this the first time. I noticed it when we were flipping through it again at the end. I was like, huh, he is striped. Aha, this was the first one we did. I really glittered this girl. Can you tell on the camera? Yeah. Yeah. So this was him just warming up. But I made pop American pop skulls as crystals. Hmm. Did a lot of glitter on this one too. This one we avoided for a while, but I think it came out okay. Yeah. Ah, this one. Oh man, I can't show you. I actually did it inverse, or I attempted to do it inverse. I had never done that before, and I really didn't understand what I was doing. But it came out pretty good. Like, this is actually blue, and that's a very, very light green. And then it's like pink and purple dragon. And this was green too, and that was brown. So I think it came out pretty good. And another marker dying on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the blue and the green. Yeah. yeah. This one I accidentally did way too dark, and I also meant to do this as the ground, not him, but then I was kind of had to roll with it. Ooh. Yeah, 18 tries to get a match I wrote at the bottom. So those are pretty much the same color. Like that's the closest we came. So yeah. I guess this was the 18th page we did. I really like the underwater ones. And then this is the final page. So, yeah, that's that, I think. Let's make sure, yep. So that's all, I, I think it's actually 25, not 30. I always thought it was 30, but it's 25. So that is all of them. I'm gonna just hold it open to one of my favorites. Now I can't find it, okay. Um, did you have a good time? Oh yeah, tons of fun. Are you glad you recommended doing this? Of course. And we actually, as a surprise, are going to keep doing it. I bought us new books to do it in. And so as a little sneak peek, I bought the Chibi Girls, all three volumes by April Amber. And honestly, I wanted these for myself. So that's why I got all three at once. And these also have doubles of all of them. So hopefully we're not in quarantine long enough to do all of these together. But if we are, we have a lot to work with. And I'll sneak peek and show you our first finished one. Let's see. I'm gonna need new markers by the end of this. Yeah, you really are. I might need new markers by the middle of this. This is our first one in the new book. Am I anywhere on camera? Yeah. Perfect. So we picked this book because it was like simple enough for us to do, because we only take about 20 minutes to do these pages. Because, I mean, obviously, as Sam not being someone who colors regularly, he's not going to sit for hours with me, and I don't expect him to. So we do about 20 minutes of it, and then um, we wanted to do ones that were simple enough to do that, and that were interesting enough to do that. So if you see our tabs at the top, we each picked ones that we like the most, and we're going to random number generate which ones we do. So there's that. So if you liked this, and you want to see more from Sam, make sure to subscribe and we'll be showing you these. I don't know if I'm gonna show them in the monthly wrap ups or just like at the very end again, but either way, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and everyone compliment Sam on his good ideas. Also, you should definitely try this out yourself. And if you do like tag me or let me know so I can look at it. I did see some people try it on Instagram and that's really cool. So maybe Sam started a movement. Of course. We'll call it like split coloring. Hashtag split coloring. Okay. <laughs> you can't see us looking at each other off screen, so. Yeah, I don't use anything that would hashtag, so. Yeah, well, I'll post it for you. Thank you. But say goodbye. Bye.
<laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Bye.